Shalwa Meshala, when the start of swords, but give no praise to Yaba Hashem, Yahushua, but Hashem, Rakab Kadash, that belong to the apostles of GMS and honesty brothers doing the work in truth, while sincerity. This one is inspired from um, one of my favorite scenes um, in, 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 in the, you know, from television, right? So that is the end of Terminator 3, right? Not television, but film. It's the end of Terminator 3. Where well, basically John Connor and uh, you know the chick he's with, basically they're in a bunker, um, and you know at the end of the scene you basically start getting the missiles. You know this beautiful shots, man. It's a, you know it's something to salivate and look forward to, right? Um, so I was just watching that scene again, um, like I said, because I, I like you know watching the missiles just coming out because they're all coming out from everywhere, man. Coming out from behind barns, a whole load of them. Right, um, you know, from these hidden silos, whatever, what have you, wherever these silos are, All right? But well, you know, basically, it's uh, what he says, right, at the beginning of the monologue, which was, you know, our mission wasn't to stop Judgment Day, but but it was to survive it, <clears throat> right? And the reason why I wanted to touch on that is, for instance, you get you get a lot of these truthers, you get a lot of these, you know, evangelical. Uh, Christians, quote unquote, who maybe believe that America is uh, a Babylon the Great, which it is, right? And you know they might believe in the mark of the beast or whatever, but they, you know, both of those groups always come to this conclusion that America can be saved, and that's just not true, right? Because you know the mission for a man of the Lord isn't to stop Judgment Day. The mission of the Lord, uh, the mission for a man of the Lord is to survive Judgment Day, man. Right, this is Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right? So, hey, the Lord said America's going to be destroyed. So it's going to be destroyed. Right? You know, you, you can't fight against, um, uh, what do you call it? You can't fight against the prophecies of the Most High. Right? Um, what was I, I going to get? Right, this is Revelation 18, right, uh, and uh, 10, right? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to start off a bit. All right, so Revelation 18 eight, uh, and then 8, and we'll start from 8. Um, so, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh, right, who judgeth her. Right, so this is um, referring to America, man. Right, you know, those plagues are going to hit America, man. Right, it says, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication with her and lived deliciously with her, right? Because these, these heathen nations, right, they got, you know, they've been living good from this bitch, man. Right, once again, you know, the program that I'm just watching at the moment is Rotten, right, on Netflix, right? And, you know, each time they go into something, it's like, oh, yeah, America, they're number one consumer in this or america their number two consumer in this or america that you basically america consumes a lot so if you've got something to sell you sell it to america man right you got a company if you open it and you know you open a, a, a what would you call it? start operating rather in america you go and start making money man right and that's just that's just what it is right this says um and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning Standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, from one hour is thy judgment come. Right? So America's going to be destroyed, right, in one hour. Right? The sea expounds on it more. Right? Um, it's verse 17. For one hour, so great riches has come to naught. Right, and every ship mass and all the company of ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off right, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city, right? So you go and, um, what do you call, you go and, uh, 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 you know, we, we, we rather, we go and witness these, uh, you know, Lord's will be of the let, we go and be in the chariots, you know, uh, Delivered from this destruction, but you know these people that are watching America get burnt, get destroyed in one hour. That's a literal hour. That's not figurative or anything. In one hour, right? They gonna be crying because don't forget as well. Hey, we we gotta all be real. We all know someone in America, right? You know, I'm here in England, 
what I have uh, what do you call it? I have family in you know in, in, in uh, you know in America right so you know not not a lot of family but the family is there right um says so yeah you know I was I was just you know, I was, I'm still still working in the moment. I'm gonna have to answer down this set. In fact, let me pause it and I'll answer the message. I'll be back. Yeah, so like I forgot, forgot um, where I was. But basically, yeah, man, America's gonna be destroyed, man. And that that is the you know the promise, right, of the Lord. Right, the Lord said that it's gonna happen. So guess what? It's gonna happen, man. Right, you know, our, our aim is to um, you know, is to hopefully, you know, be delivered. You know from these you know from these things right so in fact let me um let me get this right this is jeremiah 30 and 7 says alas for that day is great so that none is like it, it is even the time of jacob's trouble not but he shall be saved out of it right so hey with these difficult times that we're coming into right the lord's going to deliver deliver his elect man right you know and that ain't yeah, my, my, you know, the flesh might fear, but we all have to have faith that the Lord's going to deliver us, right? Because the, the honest truth is, if, if if we haven't got faith that the Lord's going to deliver us, we're going to take the chip, right? If we don't have faith that the Most High is going to deliver us, we're going to take the chip. So we have to have faith that the Most High is going to deliver us, right? This is why it says in, uh, in Isaiah 31, what it says, it says, um, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. So destruction unto you, right? Destruction unto you if you go down to Egypt for help, which is what taking the chip is, right? If you if you take the chip, you haven't got faith in the most high, man, right? It says, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. So it's, you know, the carnal things, things that you can see, right? You know the the strength of you know America's military uh, or whatever what have you, right? But then it goes on to say, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek your help, right? Because America wants to talk about how strong their military might is. Well, Egypt, ancient Egypt's military might was strong, right? For that time, and guess what? They ended up at the bottom of the uh, you know of the sea, right? The bottom of the Gulf of Suez, man. The Gulf of Suez, I believe it's Gulf of Suez. I believe so. Um, um, I forget. I forget. It's like my, you know, my memory is not the best, right? Um, but yeah, it's uh, 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 that's where it ended up. And then you read Second Ezra is the thirteenth chapter, where right? it says that this, you know, these military they just go end up as dust, man, right? So he was trying to talk about military power, man. Look, yeah, how was good? You <laughs> look, man. <laughs> it's not even a contest, right? But that's the, then it go, but the point I wanted to get is, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek your help, right? Because, hey, we, 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 you know, should, you know, be praying that in that day, we got, our, our faith is going to be at a point where, you know, we're, we're, we're unmovable, man. Right? Which is why it says, those that stood so stiffly, right, for the name of the Lord. And you read the Maccabees, you know, hey, Esau was coming down hard on Jake, man, Right? But a hey, Lord will we you know we going we gonna be well the scripture says the, the elect gonna be all right but that's what the scripture says so Lord's will really it should be Lord's will we of the elect right you know, and that's where our hope of salvation is because you know a hey, <laughs> America will be destroyed right <clears throat> you know our 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 aim you know the, the aim was not for us to stop Judgment Day but to 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 survive it man. Right, so all these Christians, all these truthers, you know, that's that, that saying America, you know, can be saved. No. This is um, Jeremiah 51 and 9. I'll read into this as well. All right, so I'll start from 7. Probably means you can which could read read all of it. As Jeremiah fifty one and stuff from seven, so Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations are drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, you know, and and, and, and you know, it's talking about the philosophies of this devil, right? Um, because uh, uh you know, this uh, shit, it's like, you bear with me, so that. Can you hear me read that again? So Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad, right? Uh, so, so that wine's representative of, of, of the philosophies, 
right? And hey, no matter where you go, some part of Edomite philosophy is in that country, man, right? So I remember when I um, which I had to uh, uh, go, you know, to my home country, right? And basically, when I when I was there, I was listening to the radio. I was like, right, these men are, these men are pushing straight up feminism out here, right? It was a radio station, whatever, what have you. And I was like, right, this is just straight up feminism, man, right? Being pushed over there. Right, um, would you call it? Uh, 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 you know, the woman I was dealing with um, last year from Korea, and those certain things are once again straight up feminism. And watching some of that, um, you know, uh, Korean TV with her, and all I was, I was like, shit, this is just, this is just straight up bullshit, right? Why? Because this, this man has, has, uh, uh and w- once again, it was the Netflix man, you know, Netflix is, is, is you know, they're, they're, uh, I was a work of the devil. Right, you know, they weren't no moism in that in that Netflix, right? But they were pushing that feminism, and then what comes after the feminism is the moas, right? And how do they push the moism through the women who have got power <laughs> via feminism, <laughs> right? And yeah, you got to give the most high a hand for creating the perfect devil, man. Right, so that's the philosophies that have been pushed out around the world, right? And that's why you know, person, that's why I believe that you know he likes these metropolises. Right. Once again, right. The idea that you know, uh, 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 let's say my my family live in here in the UK, right. But in my home country, right. When you know, uh, you know, other members of family are talking to uh, what do you call it, are talking to uh, basically when we're here, when members of my family are talking to people back home, what are they doing? They're exporting the British philosophies, right. The Edomite philosophies, rather. Right to those countries, and that's how that's one of the ways that these uh, 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 you know philosophies are spread as well, right? It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm, right? For her pain. If so, she may be healed, right? If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed, right? Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reached unto heaven and is lifted up into the skies, right? So, hey, we would have healed. Man, ain't, ain't going to be healed, man. Ain't nothing you can do to save America, man. Right? And once again, bringing it back to that term, hey, man, they, they went through ups and downs and whatever, what have you. Right? Uh, uh, trying to escape the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Terminatrix. I don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if that's the term. Because you had the Terminator. I don't know if Terminator, I've heard that term before. Um, you know, basically, basically the, the the woman, the woman Terminator, man, right? Um, it says, but sh- yeah, it says, uh, and let us go, everyone in. What was I saying? What was I? Saying? Yeah, you know, they were going through all of that, thinking that they um, uh, uh, that they were gonna escape the judgment and uh, to stop the judgment, <laughs> right? And then they realized, nah, ain't no stopping the judgment, man. It's everywhere. It has to be this, you know, the the judgment must come, and that's the like, same with this place. The judgment must come. Right, um, I'll read, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll end on that, so, um, yeah, man, hey, look, man, you, you people that think in America can be saved, nah, you, you know, you really a false prophet, man, right, nothing is, um, nothing, ain't nothing you can do to save America, man, that place is done, right, so, as always, Lord's Lord, I was edifying, till the next time, shalom.